We're now going to look at how to break vectors into components. You'll want to be able to do this because it helps you simplify many of the problems that you're going to have to solve. Generally, when we're breaking vectors into components, we're breaking them into components along the coordinate axes. So usually, these axes will be our x, y, and z axis. We have special unit vectors, which confusingly have different names from x, y, and z. The names for the unit vectors are i, j, and k. So i, written this way with a little hat over the top, is a unit vector in the x direction. So a unit vector means that its magnitude is equal to 1, and its direction, as we've just said, is in the x direction. J is a unit vector in the y direction, and K is a unit vector in the z direction. Now, you're going to need to be able to convert from vectors from a description into unit vector notation. So to do that, you're going to need to make use of trigonometry. So let's consider a vector in the xy plane which has a magnitude of 5 and it's at an angle of 60 degrees above the positive x-axis. So you can draw, see it drawn in the figure here. We're calling our vector A. So if we want to work out the x component of this vector, we need to calculate what's its le length along the x-axis. So in order to do this, we can use our trigonometry. We know that cos theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So we can write cos theta is equal to x over the magnitude of a, which is 5 in this case. So rearranging this, we can see that x is equal to 5 times cos 60, which is equal to 2.5 in this case. Now we'll need to do a same, the same thing to work out the magnitude of the vector in the y direction. So in this case we'll use sine. So sine theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So in this case that is y over a which is 5. And so we can write y is equal to 5 sine 60 which when we put it into the calculator is equal to 4.3. So our vector 5 meters, 60 degrees above the positive x-axis, can be written in unit vector notation as 2.5i plus 4.3j. Now you're going to want to be able to convert in the other direction as well. So if you're given a unit vector, you're going to want to be able to work out the magnitude and direction of that vector. So let's have a look at an example of how to do that now. Okay, so the question is, calculate the magnitude and direction of the vector 2.0i minus 4.0j. So to do this, we start by drawing a diagram. So we've got our x-axis here, and we've got our y-axis here. Now, we're told that we've got 2i. So in the x-direction, we've got this vector 2.0i. And then in the y direction we've got the vector minus 4j so it's downwards it's on top of this axis so this is equal to minus 4.0j now to work out the magnitude we're going to have to add these two vectors head to tail so we can here's our first ve vector we'll draw our second vector on the tail of that, that vector so that's equal to minus 4.0j and then to work out our resultant, we go from the tail of this vector to the head of this one, and we're going down there. That's our resultant, and we'll want to calculate that angle in there. Okay, so if we want to work out the resultant of this, let's call that A. We can say A is equal to the square root of 2 squared plus 4 squared. So we're just using Pythagoras' theorem here. So this is equal to the square root of 4 plus 16, which is equal to the square root of 20, which if we want we can write as 2 root 5, or as these were given with two significant figures, we can give it to two significant figures as 4.5. 
Now that's working out the magnitude. We've also been asked to calculate the direction because it's a vector, so it needs a direction as well as a magnitude. So in order to do that, we can use our adjacent angle and our opposite, sorry, our adjacent side and our opposite side. So if we've got adjacent and opposite, then we're going to want to use tan. So tan theta is equal to the opposite over adjacent. So that's four over two. So rearranging this, we have theta is equal to the inverse tan of 2, which if your calculator is in degrees mode and you type it in, you'll get 63 degrees. So that angle down there is 63 degrees. So now we need to describe our magnitude and direction. So this vector um, has magnitude 4.5 and is directed 63 degrees below the positive x-axis. So that's one way we can describe the direction. Alternatively, if you prefer, you can use the words clockwise and anti-clockwise. So you could say 63 degrees clockwise from the positive x-axis, for example.